What's up guys, it's Chris with Palmer Aquatics. We're talking fish tanks, in particular, Jungle Val Care Guide. I just did a video on Valsneria and I got a ton of questions and I wanna do this video on how to take care of Jungle Val. Uh, Jungle Val, also known as Valsneria, uh, AKA Jungle Valsneria. And I've been growing it like crazy. Um, I'm gonna talk about how to grow it, some of my tricks and tips that I think will really help you. All right, so here's the new house. And if you follow my main channel, you'll know the entertainment center build, which is pretty cool. But uh, I've been actually getting into a lot of construction lately. I'm working on refinishing these floors. A lot of people have been commenting, oh, Chris, you gotta refinish those. You're rushing it, blah, blah, blah. I don't care, guys. I'm doing my own thing. I'm sorry, I don't, I love you guys, but I gotta do my own thing. And I'm also working on painting this ginormous wall in here i'm gonna do it a cool green it's gonna be an accent wall so i'm really excited about that i'm gonna be building a cool little shelf that like comes up and kind of houses like uh fish foods and all kinds of stuff that i might sell when people come over and um i'm working on some of the flooring so and i think that's gonna be the color of the stain i'm trying to go a little bit darker so that it kind of hides everything la di da -di. guys let's talk about jungle val care so i've been growing jungle val for quite a long time and as you can see mine looks absolutely fantabulous is that a word fabulous so the trick here with val scenario or aka jungle val is they are root feeders that means that they get a lot of the nutrients from the roots see the roots right there and you can see how deep these roots actually go this is a three inch substrate and these guys are hungry for nutrients in the substrate so Here's a sand tank and the Velsneria, I planted these at the same time, the Velsneria, they're from the same batch. And you can tell the growth difference between that and that kind of growth. Isn't that crazy? And that's because this is a dirted substrate versus just pure sand. Uh, the plant in the sand isn't getting any nutrients. So it's a huge deal that these plants, Jungle Val, get a nutrient substrate. And there's a bunch of choices. You can use fluorite made by Seachem. You can use, uh, there's tons of different ones. Uh, this is just normal gravel. Velsneria will grow in normal gravel, but I'm telling you the trick to the secret sauce is to use a planted tank substrate that's nutrient rich. Also, another thing to watch out for is when you buy new plants, you know, sometimes they'll die back. Here's what, here's what a dead, plant sorry i'm getting ahead of myself what happens is when you put a new plant in a new tank it dies off or it melts people always ask me well what's going on with my valsneria the jungle valve's dying man and it's like you gotta give it some time you can see back there that my jungle valve way back there in the back is actually melting back and that's because it gets a little it gets that new tank syndrome sort of saying it has to adjust and it's probably gonna take around a month to come back. One more thing that you should know about growing Valsneria is get yourself a decent light. Jungle Val loves bright lights and they will just feed upon it. Look at this. This is what happens because it grows to the top of the water surface and then it just consumes all the light. So I know that a bunch of people get on eBay and they'll buy a cheaper looking light, but literally guys, Lighting is a big deal when it comes to live plants. And people always message me and say, hey, what's your favorite budget light? And it's the Beamswork light. That's, that's this one right here. You can just tell how clean burning the diodes are. And this is a 20 inch Beamswork LED, my favorite budget light right now. You can get it on Amazon for 40 bucks, depending on where you live, prices do fluctuate. I'll throw a link, Amazon link in the description box if you're interested. They're my favorite budget line lights on the planet. I love them. All right, so how to propagate Jungle Val. This is uh, another question I get asked all the time. I should probably do a separate, a separate video on this because I'm about to actually move these and propagate these to a different tank. So the mother, there's usually a mother plant and sometimes they're tough to find, but what happens is they start running these shooters along the substrate and it doesn't take long. This is literally like a week and a half of growth. It's absurd. And uh, when, you, when you go to steal these new baby plants, all you gotta do is take a scissors, snip these lines and literally take the plants out and just replant them. It's that simple. Um, I'll probably have another video on that coming soon. So look in the description box. I'll throw a link to that if you're interested. 
Uh, but guys, jungle val taking care of it is really easy. Get yourself a plant substrate, a decent light, and maybe a liquid fertilizer. I have basically all the types of brands here. Let's scroll up here. I got aquarium co-op. I got API um, everything essentially, CO2 booster. It's really up to you, but for the most part, Jungle Vale is a root feeder. It's gonna want the nutrients from the roots. So planet tank substrates, or you can do like um, root tabs, which are little fertilizer tabs. God, look at that ugly floor. Yes, that's the floor I have to fix, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on taking care of Jungle Vale. I'm working on a little setup over here in the kitchen. Um, I did like an epoxy on the countertop. It's kind of cool. And yes, these plants are dying. I just picked them up. I'm pretty sure they're just transitioning to the new scenario because all plants do this. When you put them in new tanks and new atmospheres or new ecosystems, essentially, what happens is they die back and they come back a month later. And that's the same with the jungle veil. That same thing happens. Uh, if you're wondering, these three tanks, they're 10 gallon tanks and there's dirt soil aka soil capped with sand and yes i'm doing these jars these are kind of like just little cheese ball um things my daughter eats and i'm like dang that would work amazing as a beta jar or something so uh i'm probably gonna grow some pothos in the back here and get crazy cool with that um but yeah guys let me know what you think of jungle vale if you're trying to grow or if you have problems hit me up in the comments uh i try to reply to all the messages um yeah Jungle Val Care. Whoop, whoop.